Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back, back to dance class. I am very excited to be here with you all today. Today during class, we are going to be looking at one of the cl most classic dance moves, the pirouette. Most, many of you may know this term, but today we'll be looking at what a pirouette is, how to properly demonstrate a pirouette, and finally for our third point, we'll be talking about the benefits of dancing. But let's not waste any more time and let's shuffle on right into our first point. The term pirouette means to spin or to whirl. The term pirouette means to spin or to whirl. According to balletaz.org, there are three different types of pirouettes. The first type being a turned in pirouette, the second type being a turned out pirouette, and finally the third point, the third kind being a pirouette a la seconde. For a turned in pirouette, this means that you turn towards your supporting leg. And for a turned out pirouette, this means to turn towards the leg in passe, which is up. And for a pirouette a la seconde, this means that your leg is at a 90 degree angle the entire time and finishing with your leg coming into passe, coming into passe, <coughs> um, resulting in a whirlwind of pirouettes. But now that we have gone over what exactly a pirouette is and what kinds there are, let's twirl into how to do it. The first step to the for some a pirouette might seem very intimidating, but it's really quite simple. But before we get into how to do it, we will first need to grab our turners. This is the most important step before completing, before beginning your dance, is making sure you have the correct shoes, otherwise you will not be able to dance to your full potential. In order to put on our turners, we will first slide our foot into the shoe, and then we will take the the thicker strap and put it around our heel. And then you take the thin strap and you put it around the top of your foot so it rests on top of your foot. <clears throat> and now that we've gone over how to put on our turners, let's get into the pirouette. The first step to doing any turn is to prepare. The first step to prepare is to step out with your right foot in releve. According to Zerly.com, rele your releve needs to be quick and precise. A releve in simple terms means to be on, on your toes. The second part of preparing is stepping forward with your left foot and plieing. A plie just means to bend. And during this step, you need to make sure that your right arm is out in front of you and your left arm is out to the left side, creating an L shape. And then the next, the final step is to pop up into passe, turning around your right shoulder to, in order to be able to turn. During this step, your arms are in front of you rounded in kind of mimicking the shape of a beach ball. Finally, let's talk about the benefits of dancing. While dancing is a fun and enjoyable activity to take part in, there are also many there are also many health benefits that go along with it. <clears throat> The, some of the primary benefits of dance are the minimization of stress as well as it also improves your strength, balance, and coordination. 
According to prudence.co, prudential.co, that studies have found that dancing can increase your hormone, a hormone level of serotonin, which can increase your mood. Also from prudential.co, dance also, also from prudential.co, the the good posture and fast moving pace that is required in dance helps to improve helps you to gain better control of your body so crank up the music and start moving and make dancing a part of your overall health and wellness routine but before we take our final bow let's recap of what all we learned in class today we learned about the pirouette and what it is, how to properly demonstrate the move, and finally, how the benefits of dancing. I thank you all for joining me here today, and I hope you to see you all tomorrow. And with that being said, class is dismissed.